Okay guys, the wait is finally over and I'm gonna say it's about damn time too. And I'm talking about the wait for the new live target hollow bodied crawfish jig. I've been waiting since Live Target uh, showed these off at iCast back in July of 2018 to get my hands on one. And it just arrived today from Tackle Warehouse. As you can see by this little uh, logo here that this won the, I guess, best of show for the freshwater lure category at last year's iCast. And today is what, March the 22nd? So how long have I been waiting for one of these damn lures? Now they're slowly trickling in at Tackle Warehouse and I actually placed pre-orders on some of the better colors. And uh, I was just browsing as usual on Tackle Warehouse the other day and I saw that this color was available for purchase. And so I pulled the trigger along with some other lures I'll show you guys later. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to try this lure out. And let you guys take a good look at this. The packaging on this is top notch. Live Target makes some of the most realistic lures in the world, rivaling some of the best JDM manufacturers. Now this color here is the olive orange. And uh, yeah, let's get it out of the package and see what we get. Okay, so now the jig is out of the packaging. I'm gonna let you guys take a good look at the details of this thing against the white cotton glove that gives it a really good contrast for you guys to check out the details of this jig. Here's a side view, here's a top view, another side view, the bottom view, here's the tail right here, here's the pincers, the skirt there's the hook as you can see it came with an extra set of pincers which is good and these extra set of pincers look a little bit shinier than the ones that came on the crawfish but I don't think that really matters apparently you can replace them so let's talk about the specs real quick now these come in three different sizes or weights, three eighths of an ounce, one half an ounce, and three quarters of an ounce. And this is the half ounce size right here. And they range from uh, nine to ten dollars. They come in a ton of different colors. I actually have some of the more popular colors I think that would work around where I live on pre-order or back order. Just wait for them to come in. But this is a good looking jig. It looks really, really realistic, at least in my opinion. Take a look at the, if you turn the crawfish over on its side, you can see the raised little bumps here that crawfish have, very, very realistic. You can see the paint is, uh, it's not just one monotone color. There's a lot of gradation in it. The detailing on this is awesome. You see the skirt, the skirt's got some uh, some flake in it, some metallic flake. And uh, of course, this section here is hollow, as you can see, that's why it's called the hollow bodied crawfish. And here is the weight right here. The tail section is the metal portion. As you can see, that is colored extremely well. It's not a monotone. It's got the uh, gradation that you would see when a crawfish will tuck its tail under. So man, I'm very impressed so far. And one thing I can say is that this section right here may, may affect hookup ratio because when the body is compressed, this part right here that holds the skirt kind of hits on the hook. So eventually if you press it hard enough it goes off to the side but hopefully that won't affect the hookup ratio hopefully you guys can see that but 
yeah, there is no way a bass would not want to eat one of these things. Okay, so let me pull the scale out and see what this thing weighs total. Okay guys, so I got my scale out and apparently when you look at the weight of a jig on the packaging, the weight that you see is supposed to be the weight of the, I guess the lead portion or the jig head. And that's not taking into account the hook and the the uh, skirt, etc., etc. At least that's what I've been told. So this is supposed to be the half ounce model, and let's see what it weighs total. Okay, so the total weight is 23.54. So it's over three quarters of an ounce when you are looking at the hook, the body, the pincers, and the skirt. So in case you didn't know, a uh, half an ounce is 14 grams. And the total weight of this is 23 and a half grams. So that's over three quarters of an ounce. So keep that in mind when you're buying this jig or any other jig, that the overall weight of the jig is gonna be heavier than what the packaging states. But uh, overall, I'm really, really pleased with this. It uh, seems kind of pricey for a jig. I think the average jig is like, what, five bucks? But keep in mind, you don't have to buy a trailer. This trailer is built in to the jig and it's probably gonna be more realistic than any other soft plastic trailer you can put on this thing. So you're kind of saving some money there. And since this is built in, the you know, hopefully this will survive through several fish, or at least the life of the jig. And so you're basically saving money on buying trailers. Once again, the, I'm kind of worried about the fact that when you can collapse this hollow portion that the hook is not as exposed as I'd like it to be. Now, of course, if the bass clamps down really hard, it'll go off to the side, but it will take some effort, so we're going to test that out. Now, of course, you know, looking good in my hand and looking good in the packaging and looking good in Instagram pictures is one thing, but how is it going to look in the water? So let's test that out. Okay, so here's some underwater footage of the live target hollow body crawl and I still can't get over how super realistic this lure looks. But a couple of observations here. Now the pincers or claws don't really have that much action and they seem to lay completely flat. And the skirt also covers them up uh, pretty good as well so you really can't see them that good. Now speaking of the skirt, it has decent flare and movement underwater but I think the design inhibits the movement and its ability to flare out as much as a regular style jig. But overall the presentation is ultra realistic except maybe the bright yellow color on this particular model. Now suspending the jig, it hovers at almost a 45 degree angle it looks like. So is this the future of jigs? Now I'm going to have to say at this point yes and no. So let's take a look at a regular jig and trailer. As you can see, it doesn't come close to the realism of the live target hollow body crawfish, but it has much more movement. The skirt flares out and moves a lot more underwater, and the claws definitely have much more movement and stick up more as well. So the question is, which will catch more fish? The ultra realism of the live target or the traditional jig with its movement advantage? I guess only time will tell once more anglers get their hands on this jig.
So I was very anxious and excited to get out and try this jig. So I took it fishing the first chance that I got. Now I decided to fish it on a 6 foot 9 medium heavy Shimano Jackal Poison Glorious Vanquish Rod paired up with the new Shimano Antares A spooled up with 16 pound Yozuri Top Knot Fluorocarbon. So after the first cast and working the jig in, I immediately realized that the rod was definitely underpowered for it. It's got a moderate fast taper with a lure rating of 1 quarter of an ounce to 1 ounce. Now remember, this half ounce jig actually weighs over 3 quarters of an ounce on the scale. So in hindsight, I should have used my 7 foot 2 heavy Zodius rod instead. Dragging and hopping this jig across the bottom, I could definitely feel that tail section hitting the rocks and other structure. And then less than 15 casts into fishing, this happens. I get stuck and I can't get it unsnagged. And this reminds me why I really never took to jig fishing. Sad to say, that was the only jig that I had. And the ones I pre-ordered from Jack Warehouse still haven't arrived. But luckily I saw a couple of these jigs on eBay in colors that are better suited for me and this part of the country. So I ordered them and they are on the way here as we speak. So this review will definitely be continued in another video.